chocolatey looks. This ice cream has cannabis extract in it. Chocolate with a little grassy aftertaste. And this ice cream tastes like a dill pickle. Is it big with pregnant women? Because mm. they get pickles and ice cream? That is where it came from, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I eat little babies ice cream. And this is the ice cream's weird promotional video seen 14 million times. A strange success that puts the scream in ice cream. My name is Pete Angevine. I'm 35 years old, and I am the owner of Little Baby's Ice Cream. Pete Angevine created Little Baby's Ice Cream in Philadelphia eight years ago, even though he knew nothing about making ice cream or creating a company. He was a musician. I kind of got tired of living in a van after a while <laughs> and kind of recognized ice cream as a blank canvas, and it makes people happy. It's the perfect platform to subvert one night I couldn't sleep. I was up in my kitchen just fooling around making ice cream. I was creating an Earl Grey base, and I was like, what else could I throw in here? And just as kind of a gag on myself, I squirted in some sriracha hot sauce. I threw it in the freezer, and I woke up the next day, and it was absolutely delicious. This was 2010. Another musician friend was also experimenting with ice cream, and they joined forces. Angevine spent the $11,000 he had inherited from his late mother to start a business. A friend made them a tricycle to sell their concoctions at festivals and fairs. And by 2011, they realized they had a real business on their hands. I love my job. I love my life. This video was a turning point made by Angevine and a friend from high school back in 2012 for $3,500. Somehow within maybe 48 hours, we had over 2 million views. At that time, the only phone number associated with the company was my cell phone, and that was a bad idea. <laughs> Revenues went from 27 grand in 2011 to a million dollars last year. What makes Little Babies different, besides the crazy flavor combos, and now? Chipotle. Chipotle, a little. Chica. It's made without eggs, and the cream comes from Pennsylvania grass-fed cows, though nearly half the menu is vegan. The company has six stores and over 50 employees, and the brand's quirky sense of humor continues to shine through. For example, a local school launched a pint into space. People eat this stuff up. Well, not everything. When we were first getting started, uh, we tried to make a champagne and Lucky Charms flavor, which was repulsive. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs>